Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Rad Safety Topic 1. Here's kind of the outline of what I want to just do a basic review. You know almost all of these things already, um, but just sort of the outline of what I'm going to follow. We're going to start with the basics of x-ray production. Uh, you need four conditions for x-ray production. We need a source of free electrons, an acceleration of those electrons, a way to focus them, and then a way to um, decelerate slow down those electrons. Okay, so we're just going to break down those things. Source of free electrons um, is a filament that's at the cathode end of the tube. And just remember the cathode end is the negative end. Um, the filament consists of a small coil of tungsten wire. The current is passed through that filament and heats it up. Um, as it's heat, heated up, it increases the energy um, of those electrons that are going to be released it's a process called thermionic emission. So when you see um, the word therm, it means heat. So thermionic emission, heat it up. I want you to think about that filament in the cathode end. Um, as the tungsten is heated up, the electrons um, and the tungsten atoms, they spin faster, moving farther from the nucleus. The electrons in the outer orbits are kind of flung out of the atom, um, but it forms an electron cloud or a space charge, and that space charge is what provides the electron um, source for x-ray production. So if you increase the MA, you increase the filament current, which in turn increases the tube current. This leads to more x-ray photons that are produced. For acceleration of the electrons, um, they have to be accelerated because they have to make it from the cathode end of the tube to the anode end, so it needs some energy. Your kilovoltage or KVP um, forces the electrons across the tube because it gives them kinetic energy. So if you think of KVP as your energy, <laughs> I put pre-workout in here. If you need some energy to get moving, um, I clearly don't work out or take pre-workout, but uh, it's a concept maybe <laughs> that will work for you. So if you need a quick burst of energy, you need some pre-workout, your KVP is that energy to kind of kick those electrons in gear and move them across the tube, all right? So if you increase KVP, you increase electron energy, and you also increase x-ray energy. You need a way to focus those electrons that are being um, accelerator across the tube and that is where the focusing cup um, will come into play. It houses the um, filament wires over on the cathode end. It's made of molybdenum or nickel. I always really mess that word up. Um, so it holds the released electrons around the filament wires in a tiny cloud called the space charge until the exposure switch is engaged. Um, then when the KB is applied moving those electrons across over to the anode side. It's in a focused narrow beam. So you can see on the bottom of this picture where the focusing cup is, the electrons are going to that focal track on the target, right? Which is our anode. This up here, the electrons are not um, in a narrow area. So they're kind of hitting that anode all over the place. So the focusing cup um, focuses the beam towards the anode. And then we need a deceleration or a way to stop or slow down the electrons. So our KVP kicked those electrons into gear from the cathode, shoots them over to the anode. They connect with the anode, which is made of tungsten, and that's the point where they decelerate. Um, the anode is a tungsten disk. It has a high atomic number, which is 74, and a high melting point. All right, so that's where we're starting. We need those four things. We need a source, which is our filament at the cathode end, thermionic emission, heat, MA, right? A means of accelerating those electrons, KBP. A way to focus them, the focusing cup, which is usually molybdenum. And we need a way to decelerate these electrons or stop them. And that's going to be our anode or our target made of tungsten. 